It's a problem that keeps piling up. The remains of old electrical and electronic appliances. They're bad for human health and waste resources. EU recycling efforts vary widely, but new laws are trying to confront the challenge. It's become a pressing issue, electronic and electric waste, from any appliance, any device with a cord and a plug, or which runs on batteries. The waste's bad for people's health and for the environment. Not only that, these products use up precious and rare mineral resources. With the communication revolution, more mobile phones and computers are being bought than ever before. Household appliances too. Most of it can be recycled. In response, the European Union has updated regulations from 2002 on the collection, treatment and recovery of this waste. On average, four kilograms of electrical waste is collected from every European each year. Under the new laws, the weight would rise to 20 kilos by the end of the decade. For that to happen, more appliances must be collected. Right now, only one in three devices is picked up and treated correctly. Efforts vary widely from nation to nation, but in future all countries must try to collect 85% of old goods containing electrical and electronic waste and recycle at least half of it. This is not only a problem in Europe's backyard. Some exporters here label equipment as used but functioning. It's easy to ship abroad illegally to places like Asia and Africa where treatment rules are not so tough. More than 70% uh, goes out outside Europe, to Africa, to India, to China, and they have a very worse recycling system. They recycle to 18, 20 percent, and in Europe, in some countries, we recycle to 90 percent. No doubt about it, this process can be good for a foreign economy because there's money in e-waste and jobs to be found treating it. Appliances contain gold, silver and copper, making waste a valuable resource. But they're also made of dangerous materials like lead and cadmium. Carelessly dumped in landfill, they can contaminate groundwater. Exposure can retard the development of children. In an effort to crack down, the EU decided to force exporters to prove that they're sending equipment abroad for reuse, not just to get rid of. The laws also put the onus onto stores and dealers, obliging them to take back appliances at the end of their life. Customers must also be able to clearly see how much the cost price is going toward recycling, like the Recoupel contribution here in Belgium. Prices may rise, but the aim is to save in the future by putting resources back into circulation. It will be cheaper uh, when we reuse uh, instead of uh, uh, buying from other parts of the world and sometimes you can't find enough of, of uh, rare earth metals or uh, rare earth minerals. Uh, now we will uh, produce it ourselves, in our homes actually. In the end, whatever the law, it's the consumer who plays the key role by choosing what products to buy and whether to recycle them. And it's the consumer rather than the taxpayer who will bear the costs. With these laws, EU nations are now under more pressure to provide the right facilities for recycling and to educate their publics about what to do with old electrical and electronic appliances.